Hi, welcome to Sun Microsystems, Sunnyvale, California Compute Server Ranch. My name is Jim Gately, and I'm the Director of Compute Resources here in the Processor Products Group. The Processor Products Group is responsible for designing Sun's next generation microprocessor using the current generation of Sun Enterprise Class Servers you see in the rows and columns around me here in our 10,000 square foot ranch. We're 100% Spark Solaris, and the ranch is one key to our microprocessor design successes. We've been ranching since 1992 because it really works. We started with a very small farm of about 20 systems and have grown to 6,500 CPUs. One key benefit of ranching is you have extremely high utilization of all of your compute resources. In addition to that, you have centralized and automated systems administration and management. The ranch is used exclusively to run EDA CAD applications, both vendor-supplied applications and in-house developed tools. The tools are used in all aspects of deep submicron design. They're used in the front end, back end, and verification. As our chip designs become more and more complex, the demands made on the compute center are growing very dramatically. Already, we see the 64-bit hardware and 64-bit operating systems are required. We're seeing that the applications are requiring a much larger memory footprint than before. Also, we're seeing the requirement for multiple processors and large scalability. In an environment such as ours, we have to have a reliable system and operating system, enterprise class equipment, to guarantee the uptime our users require to get their designs done. We use an extensive array of automatic monitors and checks looking for error conditions within the ranch. In some cases, those actually lead to a page being sent to certain people. The Ranch Compute Center was created to use all of Sun's best design practices. We attain an extremely high utilization of all of our CPUs to a level of 98% usage, 24 by 7 by 365. In the ranch, we have reliability, availability, and serviceability designed in at all possible levels. We use 24-inch raised floor to give us plenty of space to move cold air. We move 220,000 cubic feet of air per minute, changing the room air every 45 seconds. We have an N plus one HVAC design, which allows any air conditioning component to fail, and the ranch stays online. We have a dual power system that allows us reliability should one of the power systems fail. In addition to that, we have battery backed up UPS, 128,000 pounds of batteries to back up the ranch. Additionally, we have two two megawatt motor generators providing additional power capacity. We use a redundant and failover network methodology such that in any component failure, the network stays up. But the most important reliability factor that we have in the ranch is the fact we use Sun Enterprise Class servers and we use an Enterprise Class operating system which is Solaris. The ranch has experienced significant growth in the last few years. In fact, today we have more projects using the ranch at the same time than we've ever had in history. As a matter of fact, we've opened two additional new ranches, one in Austin, Texas, and one in Chelmsford, Massachusetts. Those additional ranches and the ranch here in Sunnyvale gives a total of 15,000 square feet of computer room space. In the last four years, the ranch has grown very significantly. In January of 1998, we were at about 600 CPUs. Here in August of 2001, we've grown to over 6,500 CPUs in all three of our sites cumulatively. Looking forward, in the next two years, we need to grow by an additional 5x. In the ranch, we have two different kinds of systems. One is the compute server. The other is the file server. The compute server is the engine that performs all of the user's computations and design work. The file server is where data is stored and retrieved from. Our file servers are high available clusters. These are pairs of computers that perform the work of one file server. The data is 100% mirrored and they're safe against any single point of failure. In fact, we have 28 productional high available clusters in the ranch today for a total of about 250 terabytes of available disk space. 
Each HA cluster is connected to the network by a gigabit fiber. Across all of our 28 HA clusters, we achieve five nines of uptime. As you can see, in 1994, to complete the UltraSpark 1 microprocessor project, we needed over 500 CPUs. Later, in 1999, to complete the UltraSpark 3 microprocessor project, we needed 3,000 CPUs. We're forecasting for next generation that we're going to need over 25,000 CPUs to complete that project. This gives you an idea of the amount of compute resources it takes to create a world-class microprocessor.